Welcome back. We are in the tunnels leading into Dunny. Near the volcano in the desert. And we just found the first of uh, Yisha's journals. And there's another one lying here. We see the image of Mist Island on it again with uh, nothing built. Well, let's uh, read this journal or listen to Yisha read it actually. I am finding where I am by understanding where I was. And everything I was is linked to the Island of Mist, the refuge. And I must know where they were as well. My heritage, my people, my family. My father, the prisoner of the hidden and the revealed. Raised by Tiana, who hid the truth. Then raised by Gen, who revealed the truth. But Tiana hid for love, and Gen revealed for power. Mother, too, nothing more than a slave to what she knew and what she felt. Taught by Gen to write what she knew, then taught by Tiana to write what she felt. But Gen's teachings imprisoned her, and Tiana's teachings freed her. And in the end, through the hidden and revealed, through the known and the felt, through the good and the evil, through the gods and the devils, they came together. Together they came, father floating and mother caring. Father knowing and mother feeling. And my great-grandmother Tiana watched. And my grandfather Gen fell. And so began our path of pain. Tiana was called the destroyer, but she brought them together. And lived with them on Mist Island. Father could not keep Mist simple. New structures and new ages he brought. Mother could not keep Mist solitary. Two new sons she brought, my brothers, Cirrus and Akinar. And they grew up strong and hungry and lustful, like their grandfather Gen. Unable to control the power of books, the power of writing ages. And as a result, all became prisoners, prisoners in their refuge. I will never return to that place. Okay, well, Yisha talks about the events preceding uh, Mist here, some of which was described in uh, the novel, The Book of Atreus. Oh, there's a borrow sitting on the end there. But again, it links away. Pretty shy creatures, these borrow. And let's see what's in here. Well, it's a room much like we've seen before. Near the Great Shaft, a resting place for people traveling into Dunny. Oh, and it's currently occupied by some Barrow, who will, of course, again, leave as soon as I get close. See here a uh, key dispenser, not working. And, I don't know, a lectern? I don't know. And the Nexus pedestal. But the linking book that's on it doesn't look like a Nexus linking book. We'll look at that in a moment. See here another cot, much like the one we found uh, in the other resting place at the end of Uru Tudani. With another part of Yisha's journal there. And here we see again the image of uh, mist with old stuff on it. Pride is a thief. Pride stole the soul of the Dene people. Pride stole my own brothers. The temptation was too great. It is not the power, but the desire for power that destroys. That desire is in my blood. The blood of my ancestors, the blood of my flesh. I fight it, but I am pulled even now. My father tried to hide what he valued, his books and ages. While my brothers tried to hide what they valued riches and power father was trusting or naive and ages and people were destroyed and so my family was imprisoned my brothers in ages written by father father in a Dene prison he had escaped from in childhood and mother in the world she loved and feared the most riven her home her refuge Perhaps it's why I now fear my home, 
my refuge. And then by the maker, or by the roll, a stranger found the book. The book had been intended to be destroyed by fire, but by the maker, or by the roll, it was taken far away. The book was preserved until it was time. Surely it was the maker who preserved the book that would bring help. Now it was time. A stranger found the book, came to the island and freed father. A lesson was learned. A friendship was forged. Friendship. The least are my friends. I must use the least wisely. I must listen to them and respect them. They are powerful, they are willing, and they are afraid. Okay, well here Yisha talks about the events of Mist, the first game, and of the stranger who helped Atris in that game. You also see this strange drawing here. No idea what that's off or what that's for at this point. Let's see what else is here. Um, there's a device standing over here. We've seen one before in Bevin, our neighborhood in uh, Uru Tudani. That one didn't work. This one does. Oh! How could this be? On their backs, this fallen empire was built. Hypocrisy. Such abuse of power, I think they even deluded themselves into believing their own lies. Pains makes me want to be ill. It makes me pleased that they are dead. And it's a recorded message from Yisha. It seems that Yisha was talking about um, the barrow there. So on their backs this empire was built. The barrow, of course, are slaves, were slaves of the Dunny. She also sounds very frustrated. Well, let's check out this uh, linking book here. And we see the animated linking panels are back. It's Uru, they were not animated there. And here they are. Looks like an interesting age. There's some rock pillars and some trees or something. And a bridge. And a bunch of bubbles, which look a little bit like the bubble we saw with the tablet in it in Kavir. We also see a little map down here. With uh, four islands connected by bridges, which I guess is what this age is. And one island is colored darker and has the Dunny number one in it. Oh, well, let's see where this book takes us. It takes us to Escher. Ah, uh, the Rebo. An age for resting. <sighs> Such a peaceful place. And the way to get to the first age. There. That profane thing and the other pedestals like it are not of the Fni. They are a regrettable part of this journey. The pedestal will allow you to link in a manner similar to the book that brought you here, but know this. They are perverted tools of the creatures. The creatures. You've seen them. Always watching. Calling to one another in the darkness. Loathsome. Wraiths. They are not as we are. Remember that. Touch the pedestal. 
It will bring you to the age of Tagira. I will find you there. Okay, well, um, we're out of time, so I'll continue in the next video.